What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Airgun Ballistics. It's been a while since I filmed a video, but I'm glad to be back. I've moved to a new place, a new location, and I've got a lot of adventures to share with you. In this video, I'll be shooting the TR50 11 Joule modified along with my modified Crossman Vigilante. Um, and I'll be showing and demonstrating the range and power of these two weapons as I do carry them with me uh, when I go hiking and walking my dog late at night. So please, before we get started, hit the like and subscribe so this channel can continue to grow. I appreciate all of you and uh, let's roll the clips. We got the uh, the fast flights. We also have the um, the lethals, okay. And both of these perform very well at this gun. And um, when you're shooting these, you're getting with this gun and the, this ammo, you're getting well over 500 feet per second. So it's coming out there very hot. Um, yeah. And I also oil the holes inside the clips and the cleaning oil the barrel also, which makes the FPS climb even higher. I got the laser on it. <clears throat> and this is sighted into 25 feet and it's extremely accurate. Just using the regular sights, I can hit targets easily at 40 feet and beyond. Um, Cause it's got the rifle barrel, so, so it's very accurate. Um, so this is more of my long distance uh shooter and even though it's a pea shooter you know it's shooting these pellets very very hot for what it is and uh very accurately so it has been effective in uh scaring away coyotes and whatnot now this is my close range tool this is if i ever need to do some work up close my new t4e tr50 caliber Upgraded version through modern combat sports with the 11 joule upgrade modification So this thing is shooting hot and uh, I've got the clips oiled up as well and broken in uh, I got this brand new <clears throat> Light that plugs in and recharges and has this very nice high-powered laser. That's extremely accurate I've also got this one dialed in 20 feet or 25 feet. I've got both laser di dialed at 25 feet and then um at about 30 feet, I can hit targets very well with the, the stock sights. And close range, this thing is extremely powerful and um, uh, accurate. I've got the Devastator rounds, which will do the best rounds. I got the uh, Riot Balls coming tomorrow. Unfortunately, I don't have them yet, but I can demonstrate the power of these, which is the best. These are the defensive rounds anyway. Uh, I have seen someone on YouTube crack a coconut in half with this exact gun. And this exact ammo. I mean, cracking coconut in half means that you can crack a skull in half. So if I needed to defend myself with this or defend my dog, obviously, um, it would be uh, no questions asked. This would <laughs> this would definitely deliver uh, some sort of effect that I'd be looking for. Um, so there you go, my two modified revolvers. I can dual wield these if I wanted to, I guess. However, uh, I tend to keep this one tucked and this one's in a holster. And then they both have quick release valves for when I need them. And I keep them both loaded up with the defender rounds. Um, <clears throat> for a power test, really quick, we're going to shoot this uh, trash can here. It's very hard uh, material. And we'll shoot the lid uh, in the bottom. We'll shoot it up with both these revolvers as well as uh, we'll shoot it with my crossbow and we'll shoot it with a brake barrel we'll shoot it with a bunch of things uh to, to give a reference and um yeah we'll try the expensive rounds on it and see how it does
So the red flights always perform the best out of the vig vigilante. There's a red flight hole. There's a red flight hole. And both of these holes made they the pellet traveled through the can and made big indentations on the other side. You can actually see an indentation here of a red flight that I shot from the other side. You can see it almost went through this side too. So those oh here again. These always perform the best as the red flights. The lethals did pretty good at close range. But past that, they did very bad. Uh, the Raptor. So I, I just as a reference, I shot it with a gold-plated Raptor right here out of the Vigilante. And it did pretty good. I mean, it almost went through. So those are pretty tough. So right here, I actually shot it with my crossbow right here. And you can see it made a pretty good indentation. I shot it with an 8 millimeter round steel ball out of my crossbow, but did not do quite as good as the 50 caliber, which made these huge indents and plus a dent there that goes deep. We got all right, the Gamma brake barrel with a hollow point, the Ruger with a hollow point. They gave basically the same exact <laughs> entrance wounds. It was pretty crazy, but the Gamma, the Gamma is the only one that actually made it complete completely through. it's the only thing that actually made it completely through and through both sides was the gambo gamma whisper uh 22 cal are you ready to go captain you stay stay captain stay come on You ready? Go get him. Go, Captain, go. Captain, go. Go, Captain. Good boy, Captain. Good doggy. Yeah, you having fun? Get your coyotes. Go get him. Go get him, Captain. <laughs> there he goes. Captain, come here. Come on, Captain. Come on, Captain. Good boy. Good doggy. Yeah. Look at this pumpkin thing. It's just sitting out here in the field. Let's shoot it. <laughs> you like your pumpkin? I'm practicing my aim with the riot balls. I got the riot balls locked in there and uh, I brought a bunch in my pocket and I just want to do some different uh, shooting with this so I can get a really good feel for it. All right, here's the riot balls and I was barely aiming at this thing with one hand. So it looks like I took a big chunk out of the top and then down below oh yeah it looks like it's inside there so it's inside the cord all right cool fun times slow practice so this is where we are we chased away some coyotes right here the other night i shot at them and they ran away did you have some yotes Okay, so it took me a second to get really good at shooting this thing, and then I started hitting uh, the center of the target at like 30 feet, very easily. And they all penetrated deep into this gourd, and then these last two shots is when the very last two shots before the canister died, and it was still strong enough to break the skin. So these are the full power, they're deep inside. Okay, so we got the tuned up Vigilante here, loaded with uh, the fast flights. And we're gonna do a little power test. Um, 
we're gonna see how far we can penetrate this. Okay, can. first shot, 20 feet. Come here, Captain. All right. All right, I got the trash can lit out at about 25 feet, first shot. All right, this is about 35 feet now. Easy money, 45 feet now, first shot. Miss, hit. All right, here we are at 55, 60 feet. First shots. Hit it. Second shot. Here we are about 70, 75 feet across this ravine. You can see it right there. So uh, let's shoot six rounds at it. See if we can hit it. This is really far. Hit. All right, so right I hit it here. Once. I shot it three times with the riot balls out of the 50 caliber, and it did pretty good. It did almost as good as the Devastators because those things are moving so fast. The energy is probably similar. Okay, so here's the most telling side, guys. So we'll start here, six feet away with the fast flight. You can see it's going through, almost like a 22 caliber bullet. So that's six feet away, okay? And then 20 feet away went through very nicely. 30 feet away went through very nicely. 40 feet away went through. Uh, yeah, it went through at 43, 40 feet. 50 feet, it almost went through. It like penetrated and probably like it probably bounced off so and then at 60 feet i shot it a bunch of times like you can see right here one two three four five i shot it a bunch of times at 60 feet and you can see what it does so at 60 feet it would probably sting you it'd probably feel like it got hit by a rock or something and, and like it would sting really bad but it probably wouldn't be deadly 50 feet it would have caused some bleeding, probably would be deadly, but it looks like about 40 feet is where these gamma lethals, or I'm sorry, the fast flights are, are can be potentially deadly up to 40 feet. All right, so we have some great res results there. <clears throat> um, I would say with both revolvers, uh, close distance, they're very dangerous. Both of them are very capable of de delivering a very damaging blow up to about 40, 45 feet. After that, um, it's kind of harder to hit targets and they don't hit quite as hard, but you can certainly reach out and touch something in about 65, 60 feet, we'll say is the max. You could actually reach out and touch something with one of these. So close dis distance tools. And yeah, I'm happy with both of them. Uh, fast flights for the Vigilante and the Devastators for the TR-50. Uh, both seem to perform the best. All right. All right, so thanks for watching another episode of Airgun Ballistics. I hope that gave you some good information on how you can protect yourself and a pet possibly while you're out hiking around or walking your dog or yourself late at night. I'm gonna continue to bring you guys really good videos and these breakdowns of both power and range for these air guns. Um, I love making these videos. I'm gonna continue to do so, but I really need your guys' help please like and subscribe so this channel continue to grow. Hundreds of thousands have already watched and I have yet to reach a thousand subscribers. If you could, leave me a small donation by reaching my cash app, which is down below in the description, and send me a few bucks so that I can use that money to grow the channel as well. I, I use that money to buy air guns and ammo and to give myself some time so I can film and show you guys all these great things. Thank you again. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll see you next time at Aragon Ballistics.